and fans too coming from far and wide. Dan Parker is there tonight at a special party, I think. Dan, what is it? Where are you at? What are you doing? Well, I am at the Amora Ballroom in Wellington where fans of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit are converging for a very special party tonight. Now, we all know fans are what have turned these films into a phenomenon, and there are no fans that are probably greater than our friend Erica here. Now, Erica, can you tell me about tonight's party, what's happening here and why? Well, this is a party for the fans that have waited so long for these movies to be made. Um, and we're just celebrating that finally, after this long journey you know, to, for Peter Jackson to make these films, here they are. They're about to start, and we're incredibly excited about that. And everybody looks amazing, don't they? They really get into it. So what makes uh, fans of these films so passionate? I think, you know, we've got a story about good and evil and about ordinary people making a difference. And I think all of us have moments in our lives where we're, we're bored and where life is not that exciting or it's a bit miserable. And then we go into this world of Tolkien, which is so beautiful. And it, it sort of lifts you up. And, and I think a lot of people take something from that. It makes them creative. It makes them want to make things and do things because you know they're very creative books and you've read the books a lot you love yeah, them yeah what yeah. drew you personally to lord of the rings and the hobbit oh i look just like so many people i was just a kid and i just i, I grew up in you know these hot australian summers and i'd read about this magical world of misty mountains and strange magical creatures and it's like a holiday. Every few years I'd read them again and think, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm bored with schoolwork, I'm bored with my job, I'm going to spend a week in Middle Earth. And, and that, that's continued for a lifetime now. We've got some other huge fans here tonight and we have a very, very special treat. Can you introduce to me our very special guests here? Okay, this, now this is Janet Boutel, who's one of the world's uh, greatest Renaissance and medieval dance mistresses. She's going to be showing people how to really do the steps of the old time dances, the really old time dances. Okay. And these are the Shire Waits, who are going to be the uh, opening band here. Okay, so can we take it away a little bit of a number? Seen live in Wellington, there will be plenty of this this week. I love the contrasting faces. The lady on the right dancing. Oh no, the woman in the middle is smiling as she plays that whirly thing. They're very good, old style music. Dan Parker is our reporter. People behind looking somewhat bewildered. I have to say.